We open on an aerial view of the city of Gashley Crumb. The picture gradually zooms in on a street of the suburbs. Here we see a small white building. The sign in front says Comfy Coffin Funeral Parlor. Beside the funeral parlor is a grassy field where four people are standing. We show the four people watching something in the sky. From left to right we have Neville, the necrophiliac, Friedrich Parrish, the son of the Parrish family, Kate, the angst-filled teenager, and Jameson, the odd boy from next door. We are then shown the back view of the four, and we can now see what they are watching. It is a hot air balloon with a deranged skull pattern, slowly drifting to the top of the white building. In the balloon are two people, Mr. Barish and Mrs. Barish. Mrs. Barish does not look too pleased. Mr. Barish waves his hand and shouts down to the four. Ah, yes, hello, hello, everyone, we've come home! From the ground, Friedrich shouts, Where's the body? Oh, it's quite a funny story, actually. Yeah, real effin' hilarious. Mrs. Parrish mumbles, We'll tell it to you once we land. Neville leans toward Friedrich. Y y you mean there's a... Uh, no... Uh, corpse? Oh my god, you are such a creep. Kate says, You're not even wanted here, sicko. Jameson is suddenly behind Kate. As he slowly rises over her shoulder, he says, Your hair looks exactly like my uncle's, except yours is black and he's bald. Get away, twerp! No one invited you here either! Sorry, I was just in the neighborhood because my house is over there, which is in the neighborhood, and I was in it because it's my house. So, yeah... Friedrich says to Kate, Come on, Kate. We better help my mom and dad with their bags. Whatever. Later, we are now shown obscure shots of the funeral parlor. First from outside, then the inside of the door, the couple of caskets for sale, and finally the waiting room, where Mr. and Mrs. Parrish, Friedrich, and Kate are sitting. Mr. Parrish is finishing his story. Yes, yes, so she wasn't dead at all. It turns out she was just drugged and the chipper little gang was trying to get rid of her. Of course, when they realized they had to pay for our services, they, as you kids say, fessed up. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> funny that we flew all the way to Argentina in a hot air balloon for no reason. A state-of-the-art folding jet-powered hot air balloon, dear. You know what, dear? I don't really give a shit. The phone at the reception desk rings. 